have no idea why I'm doing some sort of weird impression. Airfield. How much money do I need to attack that HQ? Well, I'm gonna have to uh, set this as main. Now I can like, attack that HQ, that war field. What the hell? A oh no, it's airfield. Look like war. War field. Yep, I have enough. Attack orbital targeting. <gasps> orbital targeting, wait, what? Never mind. Never mind. We'll, we'll just we'll attack the HQ. Take them out for once. Do a big scan. HQ. Eight defense. The one at the bottom, I'm guessing, is orbital targeting. Interesting. Hmm. I could attack orbital targeting, get a bunch of money, then spend it attacking the HQ. Now we're just going to attack HQ and see how this goes. Okay, I don't have enough gold. Attack orbital. Okay, don't have enough gold either. Got to wait some time. Hmm, do I really need the lab? I'm going to ignore it because the lab's not important unless it's a mine. Once I have enough money, then we'll go in. Right, enough, enough money. Plus, we were victorious, so that's okay. I guess I'll go in and defend my bases when it's something important like HQ. That's That makes sense, really. So, we're going to be attacking your great big HQ. You guys better like it. Let's see. No bad guys in this here. So, if correct. I would be better off digging down. I just hope I don't get destroyed. Landing zone compromised. Balls. Come on. Let me down. Right, in terms of positioning, we're actually in a pretty good place because, uh, remember, this is on top of a mountain. So if I have snipers up here, I should be able to shoot down on Rain hell, in other words. Probably see they've already got injured units. What the hell's? Oh yeah, he's missing his fat mask. Fat mask. What the hell? Fat mask. He's missing it. Just taking out the enemy. How can I miss you? Right, come on. This is kind of blind shooting, but I'm pretty sure I can hit him. I missed every single shot. Balls. Right, um... I'm going with shotgun. Actually, you got a laser, correct? Damn it! You have got no laser, you've got no arm either. <laughs> right, drop off the units. Hello! There we go. Right, that's him out of the picture. Oh, yes, they're gonna start digging a pit and fall down there. Nice. Let's have a look at their hair. Yeah, yeah, woo, that's a big HQ. Although the sides on the left are most likely easy to access if we can get around there. I've definitely got a guy bleeding with no arm and leg. He's got no arms, so he can't literally hold any gun. Really? Incoming. What do you mean by incoming?
Do you? Uh, Sammy. Ah. Orbital strikes. Fantastic. You've currently got no arm, no body, no nothing. This is bad. I think I know what I need to do then. Oh, balls. You're going to have to fly up there and take that guy off. Current situation. The enemy's down below. No way is he going to take me out. I need to hurry up quickly. Right. Reloading. Right. He's going to pop down. I'm going to have to chop into pieces. Holy smokes. That was a close one. Units. Have I got my units? Good. Too bad I haven't got any flipping jet boost. Come on. Right. I have to get them inside the mountain. In other words, out of the explosions and airstrikes. Why did I not take that out? I didn't realize exactly. I thought... Uh, damn it. They're much more intelligent than what I thought. Soon I realize this is a game. Dun, dun, dun. My units are slowly dying off and falling down into a pit of snow. <laughs> oh god. Come on. I would name the soldier Joffrey. Oh, I just remembered them. If I don't hurry up, they're going to get better at this. You know, they're going to have loads of flipping RPG units at their base. Uh, that's going to be a hellhole to blow through. Okay, I think I lost a unit. Damn you! I gotta remember, they can't hit me. Whew. Don't go anywhere near the middle. Wait till it stopped. Right, it stopped. Good. Right, in terms of attacking position, this here is the best. Because my unit won't be flipping stuck under. Plus it's got quite a lot of shelter. shelter. Okay, so we lost another unit. Balls. There's a lot of units coming from the right, but they can't get up because of the hill climbing and stuff. Right, I'm just going to... Um, let's get a heavy unit. ETA. This would be a better idea, hmm? Dropping off the units inside the actual area. Right, return. Good. Okay, that guy's gone down below, which is okay. I mean, that, well, that means he's my like, second bunch of backup. So if they come down, we can shoot them from below. It's good. Good. We got some protection now. All they ever need to do is get up. Well, I mean, the enemy has to climb the mountain. Something, well, I doubt they'll be able to do. I struggle. So will they. All I can hope is my brain doesn't dig straight down. Right, so we got... Five heavy units. I know I said I would cut down on them, but uh, it's good, it's good. I'm just going to have to wait for another bombing. And then I will drop my units down. Uh, like I knew. RPGs. Oh, God. 
Ah, uh, my arch nemesis. Running RPGs. Well. The war. What do you expect? Uh, I expect missiles right about now. Incoming! Well, that's. Well, that was a fail missile shot. But it's good. I'm guessing the missiles aren't exactly. Calculated, a bit random then. I just hope they don't flip in splash damages. And look, there's a bunch of hybrid grenades, so that could be a bit bad. Right, is it done? Good. I guess I won't really be able to go in, uh. Well, one team at a time. Or one. Yeah, team at a time, really. Because literally, I'm gonna keep on getting bombed. So if I go over squad, my AI units won't be able to react fast enough. Well, maybe it's about time I get Sniper out. The enemy went on heavy... what? Uh, we, we won? Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that indeed. So this is the only base with a heavy. Okay, well. Well. Let's do another scan. Final battle, hey. This took actually quite a while. Mainly because I did so many breaks and stuff, but... We're gonna be winning. Of course, it's back on top of the hill again. Right, let's just make sure I dig. They don't have airstrike anymore as well. So if I'm correct, that land was mine. I wonder if I can actually do airstrike on them. Deliver ally, yeah. No, I can't really do any airstrikes. Okay, so... Let's get a bunch of snipers. ETA is going to be 30 seconds, so I am great. But I'm okay with that. It's fantastic. This is the last enemy land to conquer, and I have to admit, the hardest to defend. It really is. I mean, the amount of times I've defended this by myself is... Well, it's... It's a really pain. Oh, such a big pain. I mean, look at this place. The enemy units just dropped down from here. I mean, what? Nonetheless, the enemy brain's there. We can just simply dig here and take him out. Oh, yes. RPGs. Uh, maybe that's where I was lacking when it comes to defense, you know? I just wasn't building enough RPG units. Exactly. I lacked and failed so much there. That's exactly why. Also, you guys are falling down the wrong area. All I can hope for me, and my men, is we complete this war and as scientists get all this gold because. I mean, we have quite a bit of gold already, but we spent a lot of stuff. Trade Depot should be fantastically happening. I mean, the amount of stuff or money they're getting is loads. Jeez, they must be like having baths in it. No, not just baths. Hot tubs. Hot tubs? No. Um, what was it? Actually, maybe it would be hot tubs. I know. Sea of money. That's how much money they probably have from all this gold. I mean, the amount of gold they're probably getting for them is probably not worth anything. Oh, oh, did, oh, oh! Do you have you seen my gold and stuff? Yeah, oh, it's practically worthless. Oh, just push that gold vase on the floor and oh, smash and it's okay. I've got another one. Just replace it. That's pretty much how they're living life right now. But don't worry, they don't have the whole planet of gold. I'm, I'm guessing the whole core of this planet is made out of gold. I mean, come on. Planet made out of gold? Jeez. It's 
fantastic. I'm just waiting for ETA for my shotgun crew to arrive. <laughs> right. Um, why did I not order any uh, RPG units? I think that's the best way to put it. Because I didn't even give anybody a flamethrower as well. Damn it. That sucks. Or did I? No, I don't think I did. So, we're currently going to be going in there. Well... Dropping my grenade launchers. Don't you dare go in and join him. Look. No. Balls. Really? You just got liberated. How does it feel to be annihilated? Come on. There we go. You got shot in the head by an M1 Grand. To be honest, it's not a bad gun. It's not bad. But hey, that's what happens when you're very weak. Or you don't have any head protection. Oh, let's just leave that guy there. Come on, you lot. Climb out the hole. It's not for you. No, don't climb in. Please. I'm begging you. No. You're making this hard for yourself. Or you're making things worse. I'm going to deeper promote you afterwards. Anyway, uh, for those who are interested, and maybe wondering, oh, hey, Chaos, what are you going to be doing after this campaign? Are you going to be doing another battle? Uh, no, I found something much more interesting. I'm literally going to be in my uh, ship. Yes, I'm going to be flying around in my ship around space, completing tasks. And, oh, screw it, you can just be back up here. Um, yeah, I'm going to be going around in space. Uh, going to be taking over planets. I'm not really taking over them. I don't believe you can do that yet. I'm going to be upgrading my spaceship, but upgrading the engines, crowd chambers, etc, etc. It's going to be a whole, whole lot of fun. Not entirely sure what faction I'm going to play as, though. I'll probably go as one that's not untitled. I mean, I don't know. I might try and find, like, um, a pirate faction so I can play as pirates. That'd be interesting. by your skills. Okay, let's um, send you in. So, yeah, for those who are wondering what the hell is it, what's this mod called? Uh, it's Void Wanderers. I will suggest, will, will mention that I was going to be doing it in the live stream. And I didn't exactly get far on the live stream as well. Maybe because I was getting distracted quite a lot. Don't ask me what type of distractions, but hey. Is what happens when you have like your first live stream. It was pretty fun to be honest. And it was quite active just having 10 people. So yes, nothing wrong with going a bit off topic but uh, this is related to what's going to be happening for the next series for this. So yeah, more Cortex Command stuff. Oh balls, you're going to be down there aren't you? There we go. I missed. Missed again. I probably should just not throw these in the first place. There we go. So yeah, Void Wanderers, folks. If, if, if you want to, or want me to, just suggest a faction. Just so you know, the only factions that are currently compatible are the uh, factions compatible with unmapped lands, really. Unma uh, unmapped lands 1 and 2. So that could be like Bears Federation and stuff. And Bears Federation is just a metal slug inspiring, just flipping crazy that is. I I played that, but they have one hell of a mech. I mean come on, could buy that mech, it's guns and saw and flipping have an um, or an impossible unit. The only complaint I currently have with the uh, mod at the moment is uh, if you have any mechs and stuff in it. They can't exactly roam around in the first ship. I'm not entirely sure what it's like with the second ship. I haven't got enough money before. I mean, I played it quite a bit by myself. I have to admit, it kind of has uh, got me hooked back into Cortex Command. There we go, there goes that RPG. Ah, uh, this is fun. 
fantastic. Just, just taking them all out one by one from shrapnel. There we go. Burn alive. Well, we know what we need to do, folks. We need to pull out a shotgun. And we're going to uh, give this guy a, a welcome. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, just watch that. Suit blew up, brain fell out. Oh, that's fantastic. You were victorious. 11 units sold, 46 items purchased. And... I need to give myself a pat on the back for that. So we did it. That was Unmapped Lands 2, folks. Pretty much a modded campaign. It, uh, it certainly is a whole lot better than the current campaign for Call of Duty's Command, if you can call it that. It's more or less like a, a Star Wars skirmish, really, because I re there's like this mode in Star Wars where you went around with your spaceship conquering other planets and stuff. That was actually pretty cool. Don't really know why I'm talking about Star Wars and why I'm rambling on, but yeah, that was Call of Duty's Command modern campaign folks i may do another another faction or something sometime later but currently what's got me interested a lot is void wanderers so yes for those who are wanting to play void wanderers themselves I suggest to go and look it up you might enjoy it as much as i have been enjoying it quite a lot lately so yeah i really have nothing else to say if I do talk about some accounts, I'm going to ramble on, which is not good. It's, I've finished the command. I finished the campaign. Everyone needs to give me a hug. Well, not really. You don't have to. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, folks. Thank you for watching my Cortex Command modded campaign series. And I'll see you lots um, in whatever video you decide to watch next.